Do you wish you weren't LGBT? Not especially. I quite like how I am. Um, no, ever since I found out, like, I've always loved that part of me. Like, I've always found it to be one of the best sides of me. And, like, it's always been the part that I love about me the most, I think. Yes, in short words. So, being part of the LGBTQ community is awesome, but it does cause a lot of pain because a lot of people don't actually understand what it's like and the things people say, pretty much. So, yes, sometimes I think if I just didn't come out or if I wasn't this way inclined, then my life would be a lot easier. Um, yeah, sometimes, uh, as I am by myself. Um, the, I think it's the, when you come out, saying, oh yeah, I'm this or I'm that or whatever, it's all the stress what comes along with it, you kind of, it kind of goes. So I think, to a certain extent, yeah, because of that, just that one factor. Have you ever personally experienced discrimination as a result of your sexual orientation? Yes, uh, yes I have. Um, in high school, um, that, that's actually when I came out being by myself. Um, it's kind of, it was tough, especially in high school when you're getting judged constantly and constantly. And it's, uh, I, had some, I had some slurs, I had some uh, gay, faggot, all that lot. And uh, it wasn't fun, but yeah, I've, I've had that. I've had a fair portion of discrimination. I have, in school, in high school. I remember I was sat in an English class and this lad was sat next to me and he had just been moved from another seat to sit next to me and he was like, oh, I don't want to sit next to this lesbian bitch. And it, it wasn't exactly fun to hear. It didn't bother me. It bothered my friends more than it bothered me. But it's, it's because I've heard it a lot. So it just, it just starts to not bother you anymore. Definitely. Not as much now I've learnt to own myself, but when you're all nervous and worried and you've only just come out, you notice everything. Like every judgy stare, every person that doesn't agree with you, it puts you on edge a bit. Have you ever personally experienced discrimination as a result of being transgender? I don't think it was discrimination as... It was um, a slur, definitely, but I think, um, I don't know if it was just out of anger by the person or if it was genuinely meant, but it wasn't very nice. But other than that, I think that's like the most that, of it that has ever happened. What's the hardest part of being LGBTQ? The hardest part? Hmm. Um, I would say coming out, really, because some people think, oh, just say it, just say it, and like, you, you, people imagine um, having conversations with their parents, it's not that. It's literally just, yeah, so I like this, and it's just, it's terrible, and the, the hardest part is accepting it, that's what I'd say. Um, I think it's the prospect of like, having to, because um, I might get like, one of my operations being able to do done, but it's like, the cost of getting things like um, the surgery for my face is probably going to cost a fair bit. So that's like the worrying part, I guess. To every new person I meet, I have to come out. Because there's always that fear of not telling them, becoming really good friends with them. And then you say, oh look, <laughs> I'm a lesbian. And they go, hold on, no, that's not right. And then that's the friendship ruined. So every time I meet someone, the first thing they know about me is that I'm gay. So I just get that out of the way because it's better than building a friendship and then being let down. And the best part? Oh, I have to say the community. There's so much support and there's so many people just like me. So I don't feel like I'm alone. The community. We have an amazing community. I went to Leicester Pride this year and it was absolutely amazing because the people there, they're so supportive and it's, it is nice to have a family that isn't your family. I guess the best part is that I can be who I want to be, like who I've always meant to be, I guess. 
like I've always felt I've been, like, because otherwise, I, I guess that is just the best part of it, like, I get to be who I am. Best part, you know who you are. You know who you are. You, 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 when you do come out and you say, oh, I'm this or I'm that, it's, it's a relief. That's, that's the best part. You can, you can finally be yourself. So, so was it difficult for you to come out? Um, personally, yeah, it was actually quite hard um, because my, my high school wasn't exactly LGBT friendly, if you can call it that. Um, everyone was like, oh, if you even look at another lad, you're gay instantly. So being an actual bisexual male, it was tough to turn around and say, oh, I'm bisexual. So it was tough on my behalf. It's different from other people, though. Very, very difficult. I came out, I don't know whether you know her, um, there's a YouTuber called Dodie Clark and she came out as bisexual, um, I can't remember when, in, I think I was in year 8 and I knew that I was not straight so I came out as bisexual first because I thought it softened the blow and all my friends reacted really well apart from a few um, who thought it was wrong and so I lost some friends due to that um, but it, I, I guess that's just the way it is. Um, like I have a supportive family so I don't think it was like that hard at home and then like when I came into college and found out like I had already built up like a lot of my confidence so I'd like I think I just came out with it and just said yeah I'm transgender it was fine. So, I don't think it was that hard, for me anyway. It wasn't hard to come out to my mum, she's always been really accepting of everything. It was more difficult to tell my dad, because he's really traditional about everything, but in the end he's alright with me. What made it easier is the fact that I have a lot of friends who are in the LGBT community, so I had a lot of support. You identify as pansexual. What's the distinction between being pansexual and bisexual? It's a good question. We get asked that a lot. A bisexual person will be attracted to males and females. A pansexual person can be attracted to males and females, but also transgender males and transgender females, as well as non-binary, agender, all the other different things. That's not to say we're attracted to everything, we still have a type. It's just that's, I want to say, a little bit looser. It doesn't rely as much on what gender you are as much as what sort of person you are. I think, like, pansexual is considered, like, more inclusive because bisexual is just female or male. And pansexual is, like, anything in between on the spectrum. So it's like, um, you can be, um, say, male, female, um, transgender, like gender fluid, anything like that, and I wouldn't mind, like I could still love someone like that. And finally, what could society as a whole do to make things better for the transgender community? Uh, again, like, I think things like, um, say, the waiting list or like things like the um, operations could be possibly more affordable but I do understand why they're so expensive but again I wish, do wish they were more affordable so it makes it accessible for people like me. And what can society at large do to help the LGBTQ community? Um, don't push so much pressure. Not much pressure. Um, that's where people either stop admitting it or coming out and that's where just a whole bunch of problems start. Um, yeah, I think in general society they should either accept it and just, I don't know, let it be. Is there, a, is there anything else you, you have to say that you haven't said yet? It's 2019, for, for crying out loud. It should be okay. Like, there are worse things going on in the world. Like, rape, murder, all that sh Thing, all them things that are going on in the world and people are fixated on how, like a woman being with a woman or a man being with a man. It's, it's just, uh, I, it just confuses me. 
Do you have anything else you'd like to say? What, to uh, just LGBTQ people in general? Just any thoughts you have on the subject? Oh. <sighs> Being LGBT is not something that you can just turn off. Believe me, I was raised as a Mormon. People will tell you this. You can't. I tried. <laughs> you are what you are and you have to accept it eventually.